Hello and welcome to Judgment TV. Today we're playing Find the Penguins. So we're starting off in spawn. So we've got a nice couple of easy ones around the spawn area. You can chat to these penguins. Most of them do have kind of a chat function with you that you find in some of these games. They don't give you any further clues, so I probably wouldn't bother. I did try kind of, you know, chatting to a couple of them, uh, but gave up very soon after. So just round the spawn island there is Scion Penguin. The penguins are a mix between kind of the water and the land. So we're moving into the kind of winter island as I've called it. Nice easy uh, snowman penguin out front and an astrono astronomer penguin not far away from there. You may think that the kind of doorways to the igloos are blocked, they're not. There is a little like, access point through. So we've got a nice easy penguin packing his box, packing his igloo up, and we've got the toy penguin inside the box, as you can see there. So behind that igloo there is the mountain. I think there's about four or five penguins up here. So we're starting with the easy hyper penguin. And as you move round, you will see the invisible truss. So the next couple of penguins <laughs> are going to take a bit of um, attempts if you do struggle with them. So that the camping one's really easy. But now you've got to get up to this next ledge by climbing on top of the tent and jumping over. This did take me a couple of tries. It might take you a couple of tries as well, but keep going with it. And then we've got mountain uh, climber here. And we are going to have to climb his rope. It does take a couple of tries to get hooked on and keep going up. Um, keep persisting with it, you will get up there like I just have and this will take you up to the top level and we find ultra wide penguin there so just by mountain climber penguin there's a drop drop down there and you'll get out of bounds penguin around the back of this mountain there is a cave and we'll find caveman penguin or cave penguin i should say so back with the igloos, we're going to go around and visit some of the neighbours. So you've got Cozy Penguin here. And just on top of the door, we've got Spider Penguin. That'd be quite easy to miss. Through to the next igloo, we can see in a code of 9265. I will show you where you need to put that in. And back at the beginning one, we've got pastel green. Tucked down just by astronomer, you can see white, uh, white penguin just down by the snowballs. And we've moved into the snow globe. And you've got the snow globe penguin just there tucked between the middle. If you climb on the snowman, you can get up to the roof. And we'll see the one in the paint in the Santa hat down the chimney. So this is in the water, and um, this is the bottom of the snow globe, as you can see the red. And that one is bright purple. So obbying over the ice. I mean you can swim across if you really want to. You've got fishing penguin. And on his hook, we've got Hooked Penguin. So moving back up towards the big iceberg. So the little steps to get onto the next ledge um, disappear. When you jump on them, you have to be super quick. 
Um, again, this might be a section of the game that will you know, take a couple of tries to get up there. Again, persevere, you can get up there. It took me numerous tries. Try and also get up there when you're by yourself. Um, anybody else up there will obviously make the bricks disappear, which will make your job a lot harder to get up there. And there we have it. We are up. And we find Ice Penguin on the top. But don't jump down just yet. There's one round the back. And that's Fat Penguin. So we've got dark blue penguin in the water just by those kind of icebergs stepped. Back by the igloos near the mine you've got owl penguin as you can see just tucked up in the tree. So we're moving into the mines now. So we've got the loader penguin. We've got stone penguin. And then in the cart you've got Crystal Penguin and Minor Penguin. Dotted around the, the map are these weird little kind of GIF like moving pictures. I don't know what they do. I've tried kind of seeing if it's teleport, it does nothing. There's quite a few of them so just kind of ignore them. I don't know what they do. Going up the kind of rocks on the side you'll see Shadow Penguin at the top. So we're moving into kind of the initial forest area off spawn. So we've got a nice easy lumberjack. Followed by green. And then we've got orange just tucked behind those logs. So behind the houses, you will get oofed. This is Exploding Penguin. So I didn't get the badge on the first go with that penguin. Um, you do have to go back and do it a second time. In the house, you've got Gamer Penguin. And in the second house, you've got Sleepy Penguin. In the well, you've got Water Penguin. Again, this is um, another pathway where the TNT blocks will disappear when somebody's walked over them. They do take a little while to come back. Do wait, they will come back again. But obviously they will disappear when you then walk over them. And Red Penguin's just on the end there. Our next penguin you saw just hiding under the bridge as we walk back over it. And we've got blue penguin. So we're moving on to the kind of rocket island. And that is Rodev 13 penguin. And that's dark red penguin. I think the, the first penguin on this island is the players to first rack up the most amount of time played on this game, I think is what it said it was. So when you go up the truss to the very top, have a wander about like I did, eventually you will get teleported. And we're now into this kind of red volcano island. Three super easy ones on this. Obviously don't touch the red lava I'm assuming that's supposed to be as it will oof you so we're going to go up the volcano now so in the rim of the volcano you will see I think it's called fire penguin 
and then we can go ahead and jump in and we get the first of our dragons this is the red dragon award so we're going into the area which i've kind of donned mushroom <laughs> mushroom forest So we've got a first teleport to go and get Rockstar Penguin. So in the toadstool, you'll see a little foot poking out. That is pastel orange. You need to go through that toadstool and go and get that penguin. Sneaky, sneaky, that one is. I found that at the very end. In fact, I was editing this video expecting to not put that one in and found it from the editing <laughs> so we've got the first of our keypads um, the code for this door is 9265 the one that we saw in the cave um, the keypads are really pants in this game um, they don't light up so you can see exactly which buttons you've been pressing um, and they were really glitchy for me um, keep trying at it and eventually the door will disappear So in the big kind of yellow mushroom um, in the middle, you drop down into this area. And up the side, we have another teleporter in this area and that goes to conjoined penguins. So we move into pirates and islands. This is the ship um, and the island that spawns from it. This is just down from Mushroom. So once you go to the back of the ship and walk around, the island will then appear. Nice easy sand penguin. So we have the second of our keypads. As you can see, I'm pressing buttons. I have no idea what I'm pressing. I don't even know if I'm pressing the right numbers. If there is an update to this game, um, that would be something that I would fix. So the code is 7071. I don't know where the code was in the map, um, it was just by chance it was on the chat, so I tried it after finding the two other codes. And then just by the pirate ship underneath the water, we'll find Neon Penguin. So we're moving on to the farm. And as you can see on the roof, we've got the second dragon egg, so the green dragon this time. This one's probably the easiest one out of the lot. So this is green dragon. And then inside the barn you've got cow and then up on the second level just by the window we've got hay penguin around the back of the barn you'll see a random bunch of balloons walk into it and you'll get teleported into the clouds now you have to be really precise where you jump on these clouds or i should fall straight through so kind of aim towards the middle if you can. You first you've got Egg Penguin as you make your way up the cloud. If you look up you won't see anything but carry on jumping and then another set of clouds appear. Mm. 
and then we have pastel yellow don't jump down all the way just yet if you have a look as we make our way back to egg you will see another little cloud so when you get the, the next set of clouds up you'll see a cloud that appears underneath you with a penguin on it that one is the rain penguin So we're moving into kind of the Japanese area. This is through the portal on the way towards the castle. So inside the building, we have the final dragon egg and the hardest one. So you have to complete an obby um, to get this dragon. Don't worry folks, if you die on the obby, you basically fall off and it zooms you straight back to the start. You can't access this obby unless you go through that egg. Um, if you try and swim up to it, it'll just block you. I did try this obby numerous times on the iPad, but it's pretty pants for kind of obbies like this. Um, so I will admit that I finished it off on the Xbox. And there we go, just to prove that I did it on the Xbox. <laughs> back in the house. We've got the anime hero penguin. So we need to climb the tree to climb this kind of temple or this building. So once you've climbed the tree and got onto the first ledge, you'll see a random wooden post um, sticking out the roof. You're going to need to go ahead and jump on that one to get up to the next one to go and get ninja penguin. It might be worthwhile taking up a friend um, to go and get this one. Um, I couldn't get Demon by myself. Um, or if you can find someone else in the game who needs Demon. Um, you can't stand on Ninja to get onto this second roof. I've tried, but there he is. There is Demon wedged in the roof there. So we're moving through into desert now. So the very furthest cactus in the corner. So we'll do that drain in a second. The massive penguin kind of in the middle of the room um, didn't bring me anything. I was quite disappointed with that. I think that would be quite a cool badge to get, the massive penguin. <laughs> So we've got Sus Penguin is the first penguin in the drain. And then we drop down. This is a jump scare penguin. Really weird. <laughs> I've never seen one of them before in one of these games. So once you've finished kind of going through that sewer, it drops you back out into spawn, so we've just made our way back. Cactus Penguin was a bit of a pain, as you can see, to get it picked up, the badge. However, I just kept walking over and eventually I picked it up. So the only way to get up the pyramid is round the back, and we have these kind of steps to get up there. Around the front, the jump's too high, and again, unless you have a mate to stand on. So this is why I thought it was a bit weird that you couldn't pick up the large penguin in the middle, because you've got a drop at the top of the pyramid that literally jumps straight on him. However, around the back of him is Mummy, mummy Penguin. So we're going to go and pick the one that was remaining around the front of the temple. And that's Hot Pink. So we're moving into Dark Forest. This is the one that's kind of behind the barn.
and just to prove you needed to get the explode penguin twice so green top is just there on top of that little mound of dirt we have ghost in the far right hand corner and we can't have a grave without a zombie penguin So in the pile of bricks is kind of like a tunnel, when you go through that you get teleported. And what's cool about this area is if you oof, <laughs> it's the sound of Minecraft, like this is all very very Minecraft, um, because we are getting the Minecraft penguin. I do like that it's kind of been themed as Minecraft. And there we have Blocky Penguin. So up around the side again, very much like we did in Mushroom, we have another penguin up here on the top. And this one is Noob Penguin. So we're moving into the castle now. I would do the castle kind of only when you have the three dragons because there is an area which I'm going to show you that won't let you in unless you do, just so as you're kind of coming and then going back again. So just down by the orange house you'll see a halo, um, climb up the wall and you'll get into angel penguin. This is the area that you need the three dragons. Um, what I did find a bit weird about this area is all the central castle is empty there's not one penguin apart from this mother of dragons one in this area it just seems a bit of a tad wasted space and um, i hope the developers make more use of it when they have an update so there's three penguins in this maze because i love mazes so much <laughs> um in this kind of checkered area so the first one I stumbled on was just pitch black. So I'm really sorry, you're not going to be able to follow where I am in this little area. Aimlessly walk around like I did and I'm sure you'll bump into this penguin like I did. So we're back out the void. It's going to be super hard for you to follow me because all of this maze is just really confusing with this checkerboard effect on it. And um, my eyes still start going funny as I was walking through this maze. However, just kind of keep walking in the same direction, hitting a dead end and then carrying on in that same direction and I'm sure you'll find your way through. Here's a random code on the wall that I never used. I don't know if it's left over from a previous game or if it's been put in there for another game or an update, I don't know. Or if it's just a red herring to throw you off. If so, ha ha. So eventually we, I found this little spiral um, and you find squished penguins. I did think I was finished in this maze until I checked the index and had to come back because I missed this last one. I was so thrilled to have to come back into the maze and search it a bit more. 
as this area was so easy to miss because obviously the walls all just look the same. However, we found missing texture penguin in there as well. Just out the back of the castle, so this is in the area with the three houses just down from that poster, you've got skinny penguin. So we're moving into kind of Toyland or Lego. We've got a couple of penguins kind of they're all kind of dotted quite easily and kind of together on this little bit of the map so you've got robot and green really close together and then you've just got blue grip blue brick blue brick and just behind <laughs> get my teeth back in again So behind the red wall is Red Brick Penguin. So there's a little Stormtrooper helmet. I did love this teleport, I really did. It made me chuckle when I found it. So you've got Jedi and Sith Penguin. And there is one secret penguin hidden in here. And that is Bounty Hunter. He's just in the wall. You'll just see a very slight faint square on the wall where he's hidden just by the form brick. So by the tree is brown, uh, is there penguin, sorry, not brown bear, he's brown. And then up the tree is cat penguin. So what I liked about this game is that it was one of, I think it's the first game I've ever played of this sort that's actually had a dropper. Um, the actual teleport's really glitchy. Um, it seems to kind of teleport you back and forth, back and forth, but keep going. Um, eventually it will let you jump off the platform. But I do love that this has been incorporated. This is pretty original with a dropper. And then when you get to the bottom, you get dropper penguin. If you miss, you'll get exploded. So obviously the demon is marked up as next because I never got it because I didn't get up there. The only one I missed or couldn't find is Powered Up Anime Hero. Um, I have no clue where that is. There's a random fish that you can take. I even tried taking this to the normal anime hero <laughs> to see if the fish would power him up. Um, it didn't work. I don't know if I didn't do something right. If you find it, do let me know in the comments where it was. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.